Welcome to Golden Seal Enterprises. I'm Evan McDonough, and we're here in one of our training classrooms at our training facility in Winchester, Virginia. Today's topic or training tip is on tourniquets. Tourniquets are the most accessible and ready means or effective means of controlling external or massive hemorrhage from an arm or a leg. They work by providing a circumferential band that goes around the arm or leg in order to provide sufficient pressure to collapse the artery in that arm or leg and thus prevent or stop bleeding. Tourniquets recommended for use in TCCC or tactical combat casualty care are designed to be applied by yourself or by using self-aid. You simply grab the running end of the constricting band, place it on the arm or the leg that you'll be applying the tourniquet to, cinching the tourniquet down until it's as tight as you can get it. Then taking the windlass or this metal rod whose purpose is designed in order to provide the tension and compression on the artery until bleeding is stopped. It's important to remember that each design of tourniquet is different, although they use the same principle of a constricting band, circumferentially wrapping the arm or leg, that you need to work with your specific tourniquet that you plan on using, but they all work on the same principle of compression, collapsing the artery in order to stop bleeding. Once it's in place, you simply leave it in place until that casualty or the person that's been injured has been taken to a medical care facility. Although tactical tourniquets are designed to be used one-handed, Many times it's difficult for that individual that's been injured or the casualty to apply them to themselves. Therefore, an individual needs to assist that person in order to control that hemorrhage occurring on the arm or the leg. The principles of application are the same. The constricting band needs to go around the arm or the leg above the wound. Once the tourniquet has been placed above the wound, the constricting band can be tightened up and then the windlass can be turned in order to gain mechanical advantage and stop the bleeding. It can then be locked in place so that you can remove your hands and it can control the hemorrhage. Other items that you can look for in order to confirm that bleeding has been stopped is to look and see if the bleeding has actually stopped. However, in a tactical environment, there are so many other items that can influence whether or not you can control that or see that bleeding stop that you need to be able to assess whether or not you've effectively applied the tourniquet that you'll be using. Tourniquets, along with tactical combat casualty care, are one of the many course offerings we have here at Golden Seal Enterprises. Feel free to contact us at www.goldensealenterprises.com for more information.